Well, hello. Welcome to my cooking class. It's Jacqueline. It's Thursday and it's 3 p.m. Pacific time, which means that I'm going to try to find an amazing meal. In fact, I don't even have to try. I actually made it already, tasted it myself. It got McGrath approved. You're going to love it. Now, I'm going to tell you, I was challenged because I had uh, a plan of what I was going to make over the course of from now till the end of the year. And if you have noticed, prices at the grocery store are going crazy. In fact, um, lettuce was $6.39 for a head of ice cube lettuce. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously. So it's like, I am not making anything with lettuce. Hi, Lynn. Um, because it's, it's like, I don't want you to go to the grocery store and buy lettuce to make this meal. So I thought, okay, you know what? We'll do something with pasta. It's very economical. <laughs> Yeah, no. Can you believe I'm watching the news last night and it says, and of course I buy pasta when it's on sale and I have a little pantry. So um, I don't know what the real price of pasta is because it's a staple, but they said pasta has gone up 44%. 44%. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm not making anything today with lettuce and I'm not think making anything today with pasta. But I am going to show you a really cost-effective meal. Now, when I was growing up, one of the first things that they taught me in home economics was tuna noodle casserole. Why? Well, because it's probably very inexpensive to make, short of the noodles that are through the roof right now. So I went snooping around, and I found this recipe that is amazing, amazing. Now, at my grocery store, also, avocados were on sale, $1.39 each. Now, I don't know what they're like for you, but you can freeze avocados and then just throw them in the freezer. So if you get them at a really good price, uh, mash them, throw them in a freezer baggie and throw them in the freezer in a quantity that you're going to reuse because you can just dump it out and use it for a recipe that we're going to do today. So let's get started. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Julie. Hey, Lori. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so this is going to be a delicious meal. I have a few people in the neighborhood that are widowed, so they've lost their significant other. And so I thought that might be really nice for me to take a meal down to them because when I make these meals for Don and I, we don't want to eat it forever. Hang on, I got a cough. <coughs> Hope I'm not getting sick. So anyway, so I wanted to make them a meal today and uh, I was just talking to Manuel this morning and I think he's going to really enjoy this. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started. I'm going to give you some fun food facts, but we're going to get our four cup prep bowl. And I did mention that avocados are on sale. When you go to buy avocados, what you do is try to find one that's got the little nub on the top and just flick it off. And when you take it off, if it's nice, pretty, like limey green, chances are it's perfect. The other way you can tell is just by touching it lightly. Like if you're going in the grocery store and you're touching it lightly and your finger squishes right through it, past its prime. If it's really hard, you might need to leave it on the counter. And if they're all about the stage this is at and you don't want to eat them all today, throw them in the fridge. It holds them um, so they don't mature so fast. Gee, maybe I should go in the fridge. Okay, so I'm grabbing our ceramic knife and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice around this, give it a good twist. Oops, I have a little spot. Someone pressed that one. That's okay. And I'm just gonna cut that out. And I am going to put this in a bowl. See, you not everyone gets perfect all the time. This is why you don't squeeze the Charmin so hard in the grocery store. I'm actually cutting it right inside the um, shell that it's got because I'm going to mash this. And if I do some of it right when it's in the shell or the skin or whatever you want to call it, it just makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, let's grab this one. Give it a twist. I'm going to cut out that chunk. And totally... This is a fingerprint that someone's just pushed in. I don't want it in my meal. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do with this? Well, when we're making guacamole, the other thing that we notice um, quite often, our recipe doesn't ask for it, but sour cream is a really good one to put in here. Now, dairy, 
We can always find dairy at our grocery store. If you don't want to use mayo, you can use uh, yogurt, your choice. I've got our one cup prep bowl here and I'm just going to put in some light sour cream. Yum, yum. And of course we need to add some flavor. So of course if I'm adding guacamole, what am I doing? Well, I'm gonna add some guacamole seasoning to this. So we're gonna grab our four in one spoon. Of course, we're gonna go down to the tablespoon side down here. And I am just going to put in roughly about, well, I like lots of flavor. I'm gonna say two tablespoons. This flavoring, just so you know, is very versatile. Like if you think it's guacamole and only for guacamole, no, it's not. It's so universal. I use it in a lot of my cooking, by the way. So the ingredients that are in here, our onion, sea salt, red bell pepper, garlic, spices, herbs, and chilies. And it's not overly heated, wanting something to flavor something up and you're not thinking, I don't know what to flavor to put in it. Guacamole is a really good everyday go-to. All right, so we're just gonna stir this up a bit. Now, in this dish, I mentioned that we're gonna be putting in tuna. And tuna, just so you know, when it's on sale, buy lots, lot, I mean lots. Why? The shelf life on tuna is amazing. In fact, I probably bought this package of tuna. I bought it in bulk. I was at the Costco lineup. And of course, you know, that probably means I bought like eight containers of it. And I haven't really been cooking with it. And I thought, geez, you know, it's an economical way to get some protein into our diet. And I thought, I better go read the expiry date on it. Okay, now remember, I would have bought this in like 2020, maybe even 20, yeah, probably 2020, maybe 2019. The expiry date on this is 2024. So if you guys are trying to save money and tuna's on sale, budget for it, buy it on sale and stockpile it because you can always throw tuna in things. Now. This is a fun food fact on tuna, and I'm gonna dump this in. Okay, this is what it looks like. Any idea what kind of tuna this is? I'll tell you, there are so many options. Here we go, are you ready? Okay, so you can have white tuna, you can have flaky, light tuna, uh, then you, you get all these other choices. So white or light, then you can have solid, you can have chunk, you can have flaked, or you can have grated, but uh-uh. No, we still have choices. We love choices. The Epicure Buffet, after all. Then you get a choice. Do you want it with oil? Do you want it with water? Or do you want it with olive oil? And there is actually some packages out there, don't do this, but there's some packages out there with tuna that have already got flavor in them. Uh, we're the spice company. We have the best spices going. So put your own spices in when you want them. Don't buy those packages. They're First off, they're like, thimble size, I don't know who's gonna eat that and be full when you can get a lot better value for your money. Anyway, this variety is flaked light, or actually this, hang on, I kept the label and I took it off. This variety is solid light tuna. Okay, so what is solid light tuna? Solid light tuna means that you get a chunk of tuna. So it's not little bits and pieces that they've scrumped, you know, pushed into a can, which is what flaked is. This is a chunk of tuna that basically fits the size of the can and they drop it in. Now, the flaked or the light tuna, I will tell you, is better for you. Okay, why? Because flaked tuna is, or light tuna, I'm really getting myself mixed up. Light tuna is usually tuna that comes from either yellowfin, um, uh, hang on, I wrote it down because I knew I'd forget. Yellowfin or skipjack, which this one was skipjack, or a tongle. And, and it could be a combination of those two. But when you buy light tuna, they've actually done testing and there's less mercury in it. The solid white tuna that you buy is an albacore tuna. And that is a really monster here. It's a monstrous big fish and so it eats lots of little fish and that's why the mercury content is up higher. So anyway, I am, it, it must be the season where everyone needs food because my, my phone is just going crazy. Hopefully I'm not going to die here. 
<laughs> anyway, I better get hustling. So there you go. Flay, uh, light tuna is what I would recommend. So I basically got my avocado, my sour cream, my guacamole seasoning. I've got some tuna in here. I'm just mixing it up so I can break up that solid light tuna. And now we need to get some zip into there. Well, what other way than to grab a lemon or citrus press? And I'm going to squeeze half a lemon. I love, did you see how much juice went into that? I love lemon and I love the citrus press but because it literally squeezes the inside right out. Flattens it like a pancake. I've got the extra flavor from the outside of the oils on the outside of the lemon, which is make sure you always wash it, right? Okay, so we've got this going. Now, all of our Epicure products are low sodium, low sugar. So if you wanted to, now would be a, maybe a really good time to add some salt and pepper if you so chose to. I know that because I'm giving some of this away to some seniors in my neighborhood, I'm not gonna add the extra salt. You know, one of my fellows keeps saying, you don't add much salt, do you? It's like, I'm just trying to keep you alive. <laughs> Don't complain, it's free. <laughs> okay, so we've got this done. Now what we're going to do, um, I'm going to add a little bit of, I just got some, I had just a little bit of mozzarella cheese left in my fridge. So I wanted to put that in. And why I want it, this has the extra salt in it. So um, why I wanted to put that in is when you bite into this, we're going to put cheese on the top, but you're going to get some little flavor chunks of cheese. And I just love cheese. And lastly, I have some celery. Again, not wasting anything. I've already washed it up. And I'm just going to put some little chunks in here. Just so we have a little bit of a bite factor and I'm getting some veggies into their system. It'll also make your meal go a little bit further. Of course, celery is good for you. And we're not throwing anything away. You can throw, oh, I don't know, carrots in here if you prefer. You could put grated carrots. I think that would be fabulous. Of course, you could serve it with a lettuce salad if you wanted to give away your paycheck. Not. Okay, basically we've got this going. Just mix this up one more time. And now I'm going to put it into containers. So what I've got here is these are our mini loaf pans. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna run it down to a few of my neighbors here. And these are absolutely perfect. They come in sets of four. And literally, you don't have to oil them or anything. You can pop them right out, and then you can wrap them in parchment paper or throw them in some tin foil and send them on their way, and they can cook them up in their own oven. You don't need to lose your, your bakeware. So we're just going to plop this into the four different containers here. I've got my oven set for 450 degrees. Or sorry, not 450, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we're gonna do, just so we get that nice, crispy, crunchy topping on the top, is we're gonna put a little bit of cheese right on the top here. Lost some of it here. And this, the next thing that I'm gonna to add to this, because I wanna get some flavor in here, is I'm gonna put some rice. Yeah, I cook some rice up in my steamer. Love this. This is three cups of rice. You can put white rice. You can do brown rice. It only takes, this white rice only took me nine minutes in the micro. So what you're going to do now, I'm just going to grab a spoon here. I'm just going to put a little bit of rice on the top to fill this up a bit. And then some nice cheese. You can see that I cooked lots of rice. That's three cups of rice that I cooked. And again, it's really nice to have some extra rice in the fridge to go. You can throw it in the freezer if you prefer, but what that means is cook once, eat twice. I can actually make a stir fry or something with that leftover rice tomorrow. Okay, so now just add some cheese on top. And we're gonna pop it in the oven for a half an hour, uh, depending on your oven. You, it probably really only needs probably about 20 minutes, so just watch it. 
uh, because some ovens run a little hot. But basically all we want to do is just get this heated up to eat, get the cheese melted and get a little bit of caramelization. So that's basically what it looks like. I'm going to stick this in the oven. I've got a TV version. Hang tight. Okay, so this is my TV version. This is how it's going to come out. Now, I did say I taste tested this yesterday, so I did the recipe up already once. We already had one meal. Um, this is the remaining. And remember, I said this is great for, for giving to guests or neighbors. They literally, like seriously, once it's chilled, they pop right out. And as I said, just Wrap it in tin foil and take it down to the neighbors, giving them instructions just to heat it up in the microwave or in the oven. If they're doing it in the oven, it may dry out a little bit. So um, get them to put it maybe with just a little bit of moisture. They could either add maybe a tablespoon of milk or water if they're reheating it. And that way it's going to still taste really tender. But guys, this is such an easy, easy meal to make. It's so economical. I know lots of people are really struggling at the grocery store right now, trying to figure out how to make a meal that tastes really good, that's really cost effective. And I'm gonna tell you, this is so easy. Rice is very inexpensive still. You can buy your tuna on sale, tuck it away, um, buy your cheese in big chunks and grate it yourself because if you're already buying it pre-grated, you're basically paying for a lot of extra work that you can just be doing yourself and it really isn't that hard. Buy a grater if you need one. And honestly, you can save yourself a ton of money. So I hope you enjoyed today's cooking class. I encourage you to give this a try. That avocado in there is that extra omega-3 fatty acid that you're going to want to... Um, have in your in your diet and these are rock solid amazing so enjoy guys come back next thursday i'm going to kind of come up with another really cool idea. i already have the idea started it might have something to do with breakfast anyway take care everyone thanks for popping in we'll see you again next week see you later michelle and nadine and mary lou bye